Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am really good. I am back with a Dollar Tree haul for you, my daily Dollar Tree hauls, and found some excellent things that I want to share. And everything in this haul is $1.25. There's no plus items in here. So we're going to go ahead and start, and I'm going to show you these first. And I got one for all my grandkids. I got five of them. I can't even hold them all. But I got five of these for $1.25 a piece. I thought that was great. I'm assuming they're battery powered toothbrushes. They are Firefly. I guess that's the brand. I got two of the SpongeBob. Let me find the other SpongeBob. I tried to get like one for Harper, one for London that were different, and then like three for the other three grandkids that were kind of different. So these, one will go to Harper and one will go to our grandson, which, you know, they're both older now, but they'll still think these are nice and cute. These are Clean and Protect Blast Away Plaque. These are the SpongeBob Square Pants by Nickelodeon. And it says the batteries, battery is included. Nice. So SpongeBob here, that's the cover for the actual toothbrush head. So I picked up two of the SpongeBob and then I picked up three of, I'm assuming these are the same. These are Rainbow High. And these two are a different color. One is pink, one is blue. And then I picked up two of the pink. So this one will go to London. And then these two will go to the two youngest grandladies. That way they'll each have a different toothbrush. So this one, I, I guess they're really all the same, just different colors. And they say the same thing. And on the top, oh, they're like kind of shifting. This kind of shifts to different, different girls on here. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to do that. When you shift, it, she changes. And SpongeBob, he's just a solid SpongeBob head. And these were the only two styles that I saw, the SpongeBob and the Rainbow High. If you guys know if there's others out there, please let me know. And how do these work? If your children have already tried these, do they work okay? And it does say on the back, they are soft, which Dennis do recommend, and it's for ages three plus. So yeah, I picked up one for each of the five grandkids. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and set these down. They take up a lot of room. These would have been great for an Easter basket, but oh well, I'll just give them to them the next time I see them. Just a couple food items. I was hungry for these. They're the Uts, the sour cream and onion. It's been a while since I've picked up sour cream and onion. The price that's stamped on here is $2.49, which is what they sell these for in the grocery stores. And the best buy is June of 24. We love Utz chips here in South Central Pennsylvania. They're delicious. And it's a 2.75 ounce. We live in Utz country. So Utz is everywhere. And we absolutely love Utz products. And I was just hungry for sour cream and onion. I We haven't had those in quite a while. So maybe later for lunch, we'll make sandwiches and have some chips. And then hubby picked this up. Not me. This is the Mahatma Chipotle Jasmine Rice, and it's no preservatives, gluten-free, non-GMO. It's an 8.8 .8 ounce, ready in 90 seconds in the microwave, and he likes this type of thing. Me, I'm, mm, no, it's just too spicy for me. I mean, even though I'm not sure how hot this one is, I think a lot of you have said that this one isn't that hot. I just, I don't know if my stomach could handle it. So he'll make this pouch and I'll make just a plain rice for myself. And the best if used by is November of 24. And this is a product of Spain. So if you guys have tried this, please give your opinions down below. We have quite a bit of rice now, which I love it. I love having that type of stuff on the shelf. And that was it for the food. Yes, it was. And then I saw these where all the towels, kitchen towel type stuff was hanging. And this is so me. It says coffee makes everything better. And it's also on the back. I love these. I don't actually use these for towel towels to dry things. I just wash them up and then hang them over my oven door. 
the handle because I think they're so cute. These are um, not that grippy, grippy microfiber. What are these made of? They're a kitchen towel by Home Collection, 15 inch by 25 inch, and they are 100% cotton, but I just thought it was cute. I love it. So this is going to get washed up, and that's where it's going to go. And then in all the summer stuff, they are bringing out all of their cute little summer hats. This one I unsnapped it. It does have that type of closure. It's not Velcro, which I actually like these better. But I thought this one was really nice. And I know one of the kids will scoop this right up. It's tie-dye, a very, very pale pastel tie-dye, not the bright in-your-face one. So I know one of the kids is going to love this. And these are by the Juncture brand. And they had all different colors. They had tons of solid colors to choose from. And it's just called a hat. So I just picked up one of those to see which one of the kids may want it. And then Hubby picked this up. This is Pro Silk for Men. No parabens, no silicone, no sodium lauryl sulfate. It's a three-in-one. This is the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in the invigorating scent with tea tree oil and peppermint oil. 16 fluid ounces. I want to smell it. Oh, that smells nice. That smells real nice. And he has never tried this type of thing before by this Pro Silk for Men. So I'm curious to see what he thinks of this. I will make sure to keep this packaging and show you in a upcoming finds and fails after he uses it, of course. That smells really nice. And I like it that there's you know, no parabens, no silicone, no sodium lauryl sulfate. That's excellent. So if you guys have tried this, please let me know your thoughts on it. And this is made in Canada. So any of my Canadian friends out there, have you guys tried this? And what do you think? I don't think I have tried any of the Pro Silk products yet either. But that was $1.25, guys. And yes, it is spider season in Pennsylvania. I went down the basement the other day to start the laundry, and there was a big, I mean big, he was like 50 cent piece big, black spider right in the middle of the floor, just sitting there. Uh-uh. Spiders outside finding dandy, that's great, but inside it ain't happening. And you guys can come at me all you want. Uh-uh. These work excellent. And I had these laying around last year when I had the same experience, and they work great. But then I picked them up after, you know, like spider season was over. So I picked them up and then it's time again. And what I do with these, you get two traps in here. I set these in the freezer for maybe five minutes. And then I just go ahead, I take them out. They kind of rip apart. I'm going to, I'll go ahead and show you because I will be using these. But there's two in here. They're kind of folded together. And I just, I rip them in half. And then I set it in the freezer and it just helps. There is a paper. It helps this paper come off easier. This stuff is very, very sticky. So if you put it in the, in the freezer for a few minutes, this paper will just peel right off. It won't make a big mess. And then they show it like to fold it up. I don't. I just lay them flat. I laid it under my, I have a, um, shelving unit down there where I keep all my canned goods and everything. I just slid one under there. I put them any, in any dark spaces, but these work great and I love them and I will continue to buy them because they work amazingly well. Yes, I little tiny spiders I don't have a problem with, but when it's those, when there's big, mm, no, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> and then, sorry guys, they have such beautiful hair accessories out right now. And, you know, I have a house full of girls. This is a beautiful hair clip, and it's like barrette style. It clips like this. It's like rhinestone. And it's trimmed out in gold tone, gold tone. And then this pretty pearl. And this is actually like an alligator clip. Very strong. So if the grandkids, grand ladies don't want these, then I will go ahead and use them myself because I think they're beautiful. Pearls are all the rage this year, and there's so many pearl items in the Dollar Tree right now. Beautiful headbands and 
just all types of like the scrunchy type things with little pearls on and beautiful stuff. And then over in where they have all their spring gardening type stuff, they're coming out with all their garden flags. And I have several of their, um, like the flag stakes, I guess you call it, from the Dollar Tree. I've had them for years now. They hold up well. So I picked up some new little flags to put on. And these are the smaller flags. These are 12.5 inch by 18 inch. This one is a yellow bike and it says Hello Spring with like a basket of like daisy flowers. I thought that was really pretty. And then this one, it just says Welcome and it's 12.5 inch by 18 inch and it has the hummingbird with pink flowers. I thought that was really pretty. So like this one could be for spring and then this one for summer or just whenever. I love them both. They had several different ones to choose from, but these were the two that caught my eye. So I just picked up those two for now. Curious to see what else they come out with. I believe they had one with gnomes on it for all you gnome people out there. I'm, I'm over the gnomes. But yeah, I love looking at that kind of stuff. All kind of really nice gardening gloves this year too. So, all right, everybody, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away, move along with my day. I hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.